Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am Jordan Bolden. I am Blair's slightly older brother. And I was, uh, keep in mind, I was not asked to give a speech. I volunteered for it. Um, so, but there were two things, there was two reasons why I wanted to give a speech. One was, I lived in the same house with this girl for 18 years. 18 years we lived in the same house. And I just, by the way, good luck with that, Taylor. <laughs> Uh, and I just felt like I was entitled for at least a, a five minute speech. Um, the second reason was I just thought this is such an important and just wonderful day for me and my family and Taylor's family. And I just thought, why would I not want to talk? I mean, honestly, looking at Blair right now, I'm thinking, how many times, I mean, honestly, how many times am I going to see my little sister get married? Hopefully twice. <laughs> I mean, once for Blair and one for Kirsten. So, apparently. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, I, just, I really want to talk about how happy and excited I am to have God. Um, I haven't always felt that way. I always haven't shared that sentiment. Um, flashback, the first time I ever met or saw Taylor, actually, I was down at the bottom of my driveway. I was playing basketball. And I remember a car at the top of our driveway, we have a long driveway, I remember he parked up there, and I remember on one side, my young, innocent, 19-year-old little sister, she gets out, so innocent looking, so young looking, and on the other side, he had a beard. <laughs> a behemoth, bearded man stepped out of the car, and I remember I was like, what's going on? But then I thought, my own rationale, I thought, oh my gosh, my young little sister, so innocent, she was probably student teaching somewhere, and this 50-year-old teacher, <laughs> decided, hey, she can't get a ride home, so I'm going to give her a ride home. And I thought, oh my gosh, my heart melted. Um, it was upon that that I saw them walking down the driveway and their hands were, they were together. I thought, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Uh, they came down and I introduced myself to Taylor and, and Blair introduced me to him as their boyfriend. And I remember thinking, what, what are you doing, Blair? I'm your older brother. I'm supposed to be able to protect you. There is no way in hell I'm going to be able to do anything against this guy at all. And I just thought, and I thought, you know what? Looks can be deceiving. Looks can absolutely be deceiving. Maybe he's a vegetarian. Maybe he's like a hippie or like meditates or something like that. I was like, maybe he's not that tough. He's never heard a fly in his entire life. She introduced me to him. And she's like, oh, this is my, my boyfriend. He used to play semi-pro hockey. And he, and he took his teeth out. I just thought, oh my God, no. This is awful. Uh, but no, as everyone knows, Taylor is as, as nice as a guy as you're ever going to meet. He's as wonderful a person as you're ever going to meet. Blair couldn't have found a better match. He's literally so genuine. Um, I promise I just have one more flashback. He is as genuine as a person you're going to meet. I remember one time, it was like right after that, shortly after that, Blair came up to me and she was like, so what do you think about Taylor? Like, what do you think about him? Is he nice? Is he cool? And I was like, I've never talked to him. But I told her, I said, listen, I mean, if you want to talk to me, talk to me about sports. The way into my heart, like, if you want to be friends with me, talk to me about sports. Like, absolutely, like, sports is, like, into me. Like, that's, that's all I'm about. And she's like, okay, okay. Literally, the very next day, and this is a testament to how genuine a guy this guy is. I remember this exactly the very next day. Taylor comes over. He's hanging out with Blair. I'm, on, I'm in the TV room, and I'm watching uh, Sports Center. He comes over. He walks over. They have some downtime. And I'm, doing, I'm going to do a terrible impersonation. But he literally walked over. He walked up against this little wall divider we have. He starts watching Sports Center with me for a second. He looks over. This is exactly verbatim what he said. He said, "So, dude, I hear you like the Royals." And I'm sitting on the couch. I'm like, "Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I like the Royals." And he goes back and he goes, "Yeah, dude, Royals are cool." And I knew right then and there, I was like, this guy's gonna be my friend. I like this guy. And he took out his teeth and everything was awesome, literally. I was like, me and this guy are gonna be friends. Um, so basically, I just to wrap up, congratulations to the new bride and groom. I honest to God, to my heart, I could not be happier. You're a perfect man for my sister. And Blair, Taylor, you guys both know I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you.